Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. So let's hop right in, talk about colors. Um, I've got the Americana Decor Metallics in the matte metallic. It's 24 karat gold. And then I have got two color shift colors. The first one is Dragon Flash. It's one of my favorite color shifts. And the other one is Orange Flash. Um, I haven't used Orange Flash very much, but it's okay. Um, then I have got this uh, dark, deep green black from Anita's. And I also have copper from Craftsmart Premium Ultra Bright Metallics. Um, I have got this two paint and hooker screen deep. It's a little lighter than the, the, uh, deep dark green black. So, um, it offset that. And then I have some phthalo green from Liquitex Basics. And I've got some artist loft in deep yellow. And I also have, I think I have another one. Didn't I use? Yes. I used another artist loft just in plain orange. Um, so that is my color story and the pour that I'm doing today is a straight dirty pour but I wanted to um, add some interest to the composition so I thought since I wasn't using um, any paints that were kind of like specialty paints that I would do a pour within a pour and hopefully that would um, create some really cool effects the first pour you will see uh i wasn't extremely satisfied with it was just kind of meh um <laughs> so i did a second pour which is actually the third cup of paint um i poured it into that and it and it came out pretty cool um i like using specialty of paints that cause effects and all that cool stuff um but just for this i just wanted i just kind of wanted to create a piece that didn't have um like the distraction of cloud cells or pearl cells i really wanted something that would um showcase the color shifts and the matte metallic uh from deco art so that's why I chose not to put any um, kind of specialties or silicone or anything like that. I really wanted to focus on these paints and the, um, you know, the really great um, colors and, and, and the effects that those paints bring to the table. Um, and, you know, I just had to work at it a little harder, I think. But that's okay. That's okay. I don't mind hard work. Um, my canvas. <sighs> this was a 24 by 24. I mean, it's, um, I got it from Michael's. They had a sale. It was like buy one, get two. You know how they do that sale. Um, so I got a couple of them. They're nice and big the way we like to work um, with when we're doing paint pouring and yes i've so fallen in love with very oversized canvases um i've really ran out of room <laughs> for um storage and and that kind of thing but i just love working on these really big canvases they're super nice y'all <laughs> completely not related to paint pouring but these love bugs are driving me nuts do you have do you have love bugs where you're from so um if you've if you're new to my channel hi i'm nikki and i live in south mississippi if you couldn't tell from the accent and so every time we have a hurricane it brings in tons of love bugs and we had hurricane Ida. A week or so ago um and now the love bugs are just like oh my goodness after hurricane katrina you could not you couldn't do anything without just being covered in love bugs and they just wreck your car <laughs> they get inside the car and i don't like 
that feeling like they'll land on you and they're I don't like that feeling and so I'm trying to drive and get these love bugs away from me it's I'm gonna end up getting a ticket for careless driving um because yeah they're just obnoxious and then oh my goodness yeah it was last year I was it last year it's been a minute but um well me and Dana had taken Lanny to ride on the um I had taken Lanny to ride on the golf cart thing and there was love bugs and I was like Ugh. I said Lanny tell them nasty love bugs to go away and he was shooing them and he says why aren't they love bugs and I was thinking Ugh. I cannot explain I am not going to explain this to to Lanny I'm not explaining this to him um if you don't know why they're called love bugs just google it you will understand but like I was like and I just said because they love everybody <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know what to tell him um yeah kids get you in that I don't know what to say position sometime uh <laughs> it was funny though we was laughing about it um but Oh, what were we doing? Oh, we were paint pouring. I'm just rambling. You guys know how I do sometimes. Um, but I did do, I did use black as my, um, just as my flow color. I don't think it come through very much. And that's fine. I really wasn't looking to incorporate the black. That deep dark green is actually almost black. Um, so... It didn't need that. I didn't want to bring white into it, though. Um, I really wanted just these colors. Um, I did, you know, sometimes you just want the color. You don't want the background color to shine through. So that's why I did choose black because the the deep dark green black is almost black. Um, so if a little bit come through, it would not be that great of contrast. Um, and it worked. It was fine. It, it did great um in the end but you can see this um it's very much like a ring pour almost and if you don't know somebody tell them if they don't know how much Nikki does not like ring pours they're like my least favorite uh technique um I just don't like them <laughs> and uh so I was looking at I was like this looks like a ring pour and I don't like it I don't like it and um I was just like you know what I'm not gonna scrape it I'm just gonna pour into what is already on the canvas so I had plenty of paint um, left over in my cups and I just did another layered cup real quick and um got myself sorted and it pulled through it did um looks very cool it's am i cool i don't know i'm 38 years old can i be cool anymore i doubt it but you know whatever i get on the tiktok so i think that makes me cool <laughs> I'm not doing dances on the TikTok. No, we're just painting on the TikTok. I don't want to break the TikTok. So we're we're not going to do that. But um yeah. <laughs> if you don't if you don't have TikTok, even if you're an older person, you're kind of like, "Oh, TikTok. TikTok is great." Um it's got something for everybody on it. You just kind of have to like cultivate your FYP page and and get what you like on there and then you can have a good time. Um I love watching the the animal videos that people put up there. Like there's people who are like wildlife specialists and they put the they just put and then people do comedy sketches like average everyday people are just like awesome comedians and it's just great. I love them. <laughs> but now you can run into some saucy stuff on there. And some uh, 
the platform does a pretty good job at regulating like hate speech and that kind of stuff. So I haven't seen too much of that. Um, and the times that I have, it got flagged and taken down rather quickly. So yeah, it's just, I guess what you want to watch, you can follow hashtags, um, and, and all that. And I like it. I like, I like the Tiki Talk. And I, I put really condensed versions of these videos on TikTok. So if my voice annoys you, because apparently uh, to one person I sounded like a redneck hick, um, which is perfectly fine with me, uh, I don't take that as an insult. Like, whatever. It doesn't mean I'm ignorant, but I digress. But um, yeah, if you don't like talk through videos and you just want it to go really fast, TikTok is. A really great platform for that um, some people have um, video privileges to upload longer videos than other people um, like the normal length is 60 seconds I have creator privileges I think so mine go and go up to three minutes um, so yeah if that's if that's your jam if you don't like talk throughs you just want to be entertained more than like education which come on you guys my videos are pretty much entertainment like i'll tell you what i'm using i'll show you what i'm doing if it's something too technical i try to explain it but for the most part i jibber jabber about life and 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 i say incredibly um you know ridiculous things sometimes when i'm doing voiceover sitting in the dollar general parking lot i'm actually sitting in the parking lot of um the clinic i had to bring mom for her checkup but uh, <laughs> yeah so we just i just i just it's supposed to be fun fun chill fun and this is how i like to do them and i like this pour i like that part i like how it's like those peachy colors coming through and these are just all my little close-ups. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you're staying healthy and safe. And I will speak with you all very soon. Bye.